So, off to thyroid medicine now for a couple weeks. At your levels, you look, looks like you're ready to go, as far as that goes. So, I then diet, how's that been going? Not the easiest thing in the world. Yeah. But I think that's the part that most people dislike. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> obviously. Yeah. But, um, it's almost done. Yeah. I've always loved science. I actually, for a long time, thought I was going to be a chemist. But over time, I kind of gradually figured out that I needed a career that had more interpersonal interaction that would allow me to talk to people and really have a more direct impact on their life. Medicine became a way for me to combine my love of science and my desire to help people. I'm Ari Wasner, and I'm a pediatric endocrinologist at Boston Children's Hospital. Uh, this is the scan that she had this morning. Okay. So, okay, so here, so right, we've got this thing right there. You see that one? Yeah. On the left bed. So most cancers we think of as being treated by oncologists, thyroid cancer has always had a little bit of a unique role among cancers in that it's traditionally been managed by endocrinologists. Anytime anyone gets a diagnosis of cancer, that's a very scary and anxiety provoking situation for them. Fortunately, thyroid cancer, particularly in children, is almost never an emergency. Most people think about cancer, they think about chemotherapy, losing your hair, feeling terrible. Thyroid cancer treatment really doesn't involve any of that. It's really a surgical treatment, hopefully just once, followed by radioactive iodine. And then if we've done a good job, really we're just following patients to make sure we've, we've really gotten rid of the cancer. It's a real privilege in a way within endocrinology to be able to work with a cancer population. That's not something you really find outside of oncology. So it's a really special group of kids who come in with both a hormonal and a cancer problem and we can help them with both aspects of that. It feels a lot better too. Is it sometimes it feels like a little kind of tingly or like a little numb? Is that still the case for you? My favorite part of my job is always going to be working with patients. I think that's that's why I went into medicine. I'm sure why many of us went into medicine. Kids are always kids, even when they're sick or not feeling well or going through adversity. They always have that kind of joy and hope of being a kid. And so I think our responsibility and privilege as pediatricians is to help kids and their families get them back to that joy of just being a kid. Part of my job is, you know, families or patients come to me and they're trying to understand what's going on, why some aspect of their body isn't working the way it should. And my role is to help them figure out what's going on and oftentimes to explain to them and help them understand what the problem is and how we can fix it. The most rewarding moments that I have at work are when I can speak to a family and help them understand what's going on with their child, why things aren't working the way they should and how we can help. Uh, and they leave feeling, I think, a real sense of empowerment.